people. They've taken 15 percent out of the payroll. I think anyone who's put into Social Security ought to be given that back. That's part of a deal. They, they told people about it. Let people opt out at an earlier age. Let people opt out at any age if they want to. Uh, that's that's the, but people that have been forced to contribute to this, you don't take it away unless you're somebody like Chris Christie. There's plenty of things where they could cut instead of cutting the promises that they've made to people. The Reagan way, because we're not going to destroy our economy the way the left-wing government that under that we are under now wants to do. I'm we're citing not George Shultz. Well, I, I don't. He may have lined up with their positions on this issue, but here's the bottom line. Every proposal they put forward are going to be proposals that will make it harder to do business in America, that will make it harder to create jobs in America. Single parents are already struggling across this country to provide, provide for their families. Take out an Maybe insurance policy to respond to climate change? Yeah, in words, an just in, in case it's real? Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's destroy the economy just in case? <laughs> right. That's so CNN for you. It's not going to... That's Jake yeah. Tapper. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. Hey, the way they could bring it up. Hey, I'm sorry. i got to say something really quick. This is hilarious. This guy just tweeted us. Yeah. Walter Hargis, he says, Chrissy is right. If people smoke weed, they get the munchies, which, which leaves him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he's against marijuana, guys. Chris Christie doesn't want you to get the munchies because you're going to eat the Twinkies, the, the, the sandwiches, all that stuff, and it's going to leave him without anything. <laughs> well, Chris Christie clearly has not experienced any of the edibles that are out there. So. Chris Krispy Kreme. He might be for yeah. it if he... <laughs> Chris Krispy Kreme. That, that, that's a T-shirt we need right there. <laughs> Take a bite out of crime. Hey, I, need, I need to go get that Donald Trump poster real quick and show it. Yeah. That you have on your desk. Go you get it? Bill yeah, Bill. yeah, go get that. Yeah. We shall overcome. <laughs> I got it. All right. Darren McBreen's bringing it over here. Say hey, Darren. <clears throat> Where are we at? Where's right here. Camera's right there. Hey, there it is. All right. So uh, go ahead and explain this, David. This is yours. Yeah, that was a that was a gift to me. People know how much I like Donald Trump. Uh, it's a. It's, it's a poster along the lines of the one that was uh, that made Obama famous, and the motto is "We shall overcome," and it says there will be hell to pay. And there will be hell <laughs> to, in, pay. Uh, to pay. T o u p e e to pay. That's right. That's a hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a great little uh, icon down at the bottom, which I think he really ought to make his logo. Although what? people have had the, uh, I, I think it was Wired magazine took the Obama logo, you know, the O with the American flag down the bottom yeah. corner. They rotated that uh, uh, <laughs> 180 degrees and changed the colors, and it looks like a, like a Donald air. Trump's comb uh, oh, <laughs> coming down. Comb there. over. But but you know, there's something <laughs> far more to that, that that I think is interesting, and, and and that is the fact that one of the things that we were concerned about with Obama when he ran was the fact that there was this cult of personality that people were so willing to buy into him, and, and as they ask you the question about feminists, you know, who who gave a pass to uh, the jihadis and that sort of thing. It's because if you criticize Hillary Clinton, they immediately, Joe, say that you are a sexist. Mm -hmm. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. the core of, the, of what's going on. They are observing us now, Alex. You have to understand, everything that we are saying is being monitored. You know, when the Pope resigned what happened in the Vatican, there was a big storm and there was a lightning that uh, just went on top. You see, like this night, there's a uh, lightning, you see? Experts from the Vatican themselves admitted uh, there is a very close link between uh, pedophilia and Satanism. Then uh, they used to have uh, these ambulances, these fake ambulances parked in front of their mini station, and they used to pick up uh, these young Romanian kids, 14-year-old kids, and bring them directly into the Vatican. So, so, so basically, Ciao. So we, 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 they might tell us something, don't worry. But we will, uh, we, we will, we will try to, to be uh, the most diplomatic possible sure, uh, because sure. they are our friends, you know. Si, 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 no problem. Piazza, non si possa. Si, si, si. We are here in Rome. My name is Leo Lyon Zagami. I was born here on the 5th of March 1970 in what is known as the Vatican Hospital per excellence, which is the Hospital Gemelli where John Paul II used to go. I was born within this Vatican background, so I'm here actually talking about what I know best, which is my city and my Catholic background. It's power and it's, it's pure power. It's a pure power structure. That's what O'Brien says in 1984 when he's torturing Winston. He goes, we're the priest of power. We're, we're total pragmatists. There's nothing we follow but trampling and being trampled upon. There was once an American, I don't want to say who, a uh, film director who came here, and basically we filmed something in a church. When they actually thrown us out of the church, the guy said, but I believe in Jesus Christ. You know what the Vatican guy said? We don't care about Jesus here. This is the Vatican. This September, September 2015, is very important because the Pope, Pope Francis, is arriving in the United States of America 
and is doing this officially for the first time to hush up the world government with his uh, speech in Congress, uh, with his visit at the United Nations, uh, with uh, what is uh, really the conclusion of uh, uh, 500 years history of the Jesuits taking control of the Vatican. The Jesuit order was born uh, 500 years ago with uh, Ignazio Loyola, and since then it became the most powerful order in Christianity. Now they have their own Pope, even if they were kicked out from the Vatican for a brief time. And uh, what they're going to be doing in September in the United States of America is critically important for the New World Order. A lot of people uh, before uh, used to say to me, why are you mentioning the Vatican in relation uh, with the New World Order? It doesn't have anything to do with uh, one with the other. Instead, it has everything to do with one and the other because, as I showed to Alex Jones here in Rome, the Vatican is everything but a religion. It is a state, it is politics, and uh, in this influential political game that uh, you are playing also in the United States of America with the next president, the Vatican has, of course, uh, their own uh, candidate of choice. I know that a lot of people are talking about uh, Hillary because she has also Jesuit connections uh, that are uh, very much out there, but uh, Jeb Bush is the candidate of choice for the Vatican because he's a Knights of Columbus, he's a Catholic, uh, and at the end of the day, he responds to a grandmaster, who is Carl Anderson, who sits in the seat of power in what is the Vatican Bank. The Vatican Bank, who for decades has been recycling money from drugs, drug cartels, from mafia, laundering this money. Uh, they have tried in the last few years to correct all this, uh, and now they brought uh, uh, a more open uh, uh, Vatican to the world, uh, where they claim that everything is transparent, uh, but uh, nothing is transparent inside the Vatican, and nothing is as it appears in the Vatican. So what is happening with this Pope, who is a communist? Of course he's a communist, the Jesuits invent invented communism and who is somebody who wants to uh, bring this world government scenario in with his own world parliament of religions, which is coming into fruition. All this because the new world order doesn't want a specific religion to control all others. But in the end, there is actually somebody who is taking control of all this, and this is the Jesuits and the Vatican here in Rome, together, of course, with Israel. Since the Second Vatican Council, they have made this deal. They've been linked together. And so that's what I'm trying to denounce for many years, that there is a critically important to understand what happens in the Vatican to then understand the rest of the New World Order, including the Club Bilderberg. So the last few days I also let Alex into the variety of perversions that uh, mingle and spring around the Vatican, let's say, no? They, they are part of this Vatican decadence, of uh, this obvious Vatican decadence. Um, for example, the gay lobby has uh, their own meeting uh, points, and uh, the gay lobby in the Vatican has even a website, which is of course uh, very secured, for gay priests and uh, they meet up at this library, the Feltrinelli Library in Piazza di Spagna, at the religious and philosophical section, every day around 8 o'clock, and then they go from there to what is the biggest gay sauna in Italy. But this biggest gay sauna in Italy is actually built in a, a building which is a property of the Vatican, and of course the building is also uh, was, uh, was bought by Cardinal Tarcisio Bertone, which is uh, this, uh, this uh, character uh, we just described who is very powerful these days in the Vatican and we call the Pink Pope. When it comes down to the sex cults in the Vatican, they're very important because uh, when it comes to sex cults, the link then goes directly with pedophilia and Satanism. Like even uh, experts from the Vatican themselves admitted, uh, there is a very close link between uh, pedophilia and Satanism. And also a lot of priests uh, uh, like to perform themselves the satanic masses around Rome and they perform them in the area where usually the Pope goes on holiday near Castel Gandolfo in the area where you have uh, also Lake Nemi 
in those uh, forests around there, they performed these, uh, these black masses and there is a Catholic priest who act as a satanic priest. Because the moment in which they act as a satanic priest is the moment in which they can really liberate themselves uh, of all their perversions. They can uh, do drugs, they can uh, go with the women, with men, with everything, and they can do all, all kinds of things. So the, 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 the sex cults are very powerful. Like, uh, for example, uh, we 